What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So this is my third video for today and I wanted to release this just because I seen um, a video on YouTube about the stimulus package, about the coronavirus relief package and it was a really short video to where um, the title is really strong, basically Democrats reject piecemeal approach to the coronavirus relief bill. This is um, obviously a great title because then it shows that they're fighting for the American people and that's what it's all about. So before I get into this, make sure you hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. Also get your two free stocks with Webull down below. All you have to do is click the link down below, sign up and deposit $100 and you'll be able to get two free stocks, one of which could be valued up to $1,400. Um, and check out my Robinhood link. All you have to do is sign up for Robinhood and link your bank account and you'll get one free stock. You don't even have to deposit any money. So go over there and check that out. You can get free stocks, which technically you'll have free money. So let's go ahead and get into this. So it was really interesting hearing this and then I'll give my perspective after I play it. So let's see what uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi had to say here. Yes, ma'am. Madam Speaker, hey. It seems as though these negotiations are, as you've outlined, uh, hitting some speed bumps and millions of Americans are facing their unemployment benefits running out at the end of next week. If you can't get a bigger deal, are you open to temporarily extending those benefits for people? No, um, no, no. This is a package. We, we cannot piecemeal this. Uh, this is, a, as you see, it has an integrity. It has a oneness about meeting the needs of the American people defeating the virus as we uh, honor our heroes and put money into the pockets of the American people. And you think you can get this done by the end of next week? Well, depending on what they come up with, what do you yeah. think, Mr. The Leader? only thing I'd say in answer to your question, we're not going to leave, take care of one portion of suffering people and leave everyone else hanging. That's what they may want to do, take care of this and then they'll go home. No way. This is a comprehensive proposal that addresses the many problems of COVID and we have to address it as a totality. Now, I agree exactly with what they said. It makes no sense to piecemeal something together and basically say we're going to provide um, some sort of funding for people that are unemployed, but then not help out everybody else, all of the other Americans. I mean, they really just want to um, find a way to get something in the hands of Americans that are struggling, whether you're unemployed, whether you um, have cut hours, or you know whether you were affected by the pandemic and you had you know four months off and now you're actively working, but you owe money. You owe money to your your landlord. You owe money to your bank, the mortgage company, um, and that's really what it's all about. Having to piecemeal something together just for uh, people that are unemployed, which People that are unemployed, you see the unemployment numbers jumping, and um, it is kind of it kind of sucks that it is, but it makes no sense for them to piecemeal things together. And I agree with both of them. And yeah, this is just showing that there is fight in the Democrats. It's not just something where you're going to look at it and you're going to go, you know what, we're going to accept what we can get. No, they wanted something in place. And even if it's not to the full extent of $600, you need to be able to get something in place that will help Americans, not something that will just give them a little bit of pocket change. And then they can't really do anything with that money. Like what, what is $100 a week going to do for people? Probably nothing. It's not going to do anything, especially for somebody that's, that has been unemployed, that has lost their job because of the fact that they can't go back to work because of the pandemic. So if they lost their job where they were making $2,000 you know, a month, right, and they only get $400 a month, what is that going to do for them? What is it going to do? Is it going to pay the rent? Probably not. Most of the time, rent is around 25% of your income. And guess what? That's not 25% of $2,000. If I could do math correctly, that's $500. And for different parts of the country, that's going to be even more. But the only thing is that they're getting less compared to how much their rent is or how much their mortgage is. So instead of that being 2000 now it's 4000 over here, maybe in California, right? So they were bringing in $4,000. Now they're only getting $400. They're getting 10%. Like, why is that a thing? So you look at this and I completely agree with them and I, it just shows that there's fight, you know, in the Democrats that they are going to be pushing for the American people. And um, this is what you want to see. I, I want to see them fight for the American people and not just see all of these piecemealed bills or piecemealed bills put together and displayed to them and said, you know, this, we can't take this, we can't take this, we can't take this. And um, 
you not end up getting the things that help American people, but will help businesses in some form or fashion. That's not what we want. That's not what the American people want. And that's not what the Democrats want. So looking at this is really eye opening. Uh, just like I said, that the Democrats are, you know, fighting to get more money into people's hands. Right now, I did know that it was confirmed for the stimulus amount that, um, you know, $1,200 is going to be the amount. We just don't know how many people are going to get it. Hopefully it's more than what they have said, you know, 40K cap and whatnot. Um, but when it comes to the unemployment amount, um, when it's $600, I don't think it will be $600, but you need to get something to the American people in every form or fashion, whether it is just a stimulus check or whether it is, you know, unemployment for the time being or for the life of the pandemic or f until the end of the end of the year. That's what we need to focus on now. So I'm here to give you as many updates as I could possibly give you, but I thought that was really interesting to just bring to the table, listen to it, and hear how the Democrats are fighting for the American people. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you feel like um, we should be getting a certain amount of money. I know a lot of people in my comments have mentioned $2,000 a month, have mentioned just giving us the $600 unemployment extension. There have been so many people that mentioned a lot of things, and I appreciate all the comments. So um, let me know what you think about this whole situation. I really want to know. But uh, that's it, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, I do a giveaway every week. Go over to my Instagram, DM me. Let me know that you want to enter the giveaway and that you're subscribed to both YouTube channels. If I don't reach out to you, you didn't win the giveaway. I know I've been doing a horrible job announcing it. So um, if I reach out to you, you won the giveaway. And um, yeah, we can go from there. But also, get your two free stocks with Weeble down below. One of which could be valued at $1,400. All you have to do is go over to Weeble, sign up using my link, and deposit $100. And once that deposit clears, you'll get two free stocks. So uh, go ahead and do that. Also, Robinhood, an easier way of doing it. You don't have to deposit any money. Go over there, sign up, link your bank account. Boom, you get a free stock. So um, that's it, guys. I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. <music>